This video will show an example of finding the eigenvalues and associated eigenvectors of a matrix. Suppose we have the following matrix A. A is equal to 2, minus 1, minus 4, minus 1. To find the eigenvalues, we want to solve the characteristic polynomial, which is defined by the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. So let's write this out. The determinant of the matrix 2 minus 1 minus 4 negative 1 minus lambda times the identity matrix, which is lambda 0, 0, lambda. That's equal to the determinant of, so we just combine these two things and we get 2 minus lambda, negative 1, negative 4, negative 1 minus lambda. The determinant of that is going to be 2 minus lambda times negative 1 minus lambda minus negative 1 times negative 4. That's equal to, we can multiply this out, that would be negative 2 minus lambda plus lambda squared minus 4. Then writing this as a regular quadratic equation, we get lambda squared minus lambda minus 6. And we can factor this as lambda minus 3 times lambda plus 2. And that's equal to 0 as we had before here with the characteristic polynomial. Therefore, we can see that lambda is going to be 3 and negative 2. So these are the eigenvalues that are associated with the matrix A. Now we want to find their corresponding eigenvectors. So starting with the first one, let's say that lambda is equal to minus 2. We want to find all of the non-trivial solutions of this equation. A minus lambda i, so lambda here being replaced by negative 2 for the first one, times an eigenvector v is equal to 0. We want to find again non-trivial solutions of this, so where v is not equal to all zeros. So if we perform this operation, a minus negative 2 times i, we're going to get 4, negative 4, negative 1, 1, times v is equal to 0. So we can write this in the augmented form. 4, negative 4, 0, negative 1, 1, 0. And row reduce this. Well, we can see that if we divide the top row by 4, we'll get 1, negative 1, 0. And if we multiply the bottom row by negative 1, we'll get 1, negative 1, 0, which will clearly reduce to 1, negative 1, 0 in the top row and 0, 0, 0 on the bottom. That means that v is equal to, well, if we write it in terms of its components, v1 and v2, those are the two entries in v, we can see that v1 is equal to v2, because v1 minus v2 is equal to 0. So v1 is equal to v2, and v2 is a free variable, and therefore is just equal to itself, v2. We can factor out a v2, which is just a constant, and let's instead write it as just c, just any constant c, times 1, 1. So this is the associated eigenspace with the eigenvalue negative 2. That is, it is the span of the vector 1, 1. Any vector lying on this line along 1, 1 is going to be an eigenvector of the associated matrix A with the eigenvalue negative 2. So therefore, if we want to pick just one such eigenvector, we can pick 1, 1, just setting C equal to 1. Let's look at the next eigenvalue. Lambda is equal to 3. Again, we're solving the same equation. A minus 
lambda times i, in this case lambda is equal to 3, times, let's call this next vector w, is equal to 0. So we want to solve this, let's write this out. It's negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, negative 4 times w is equal to 0. Once again, writing this in the augmented form, we get negative 1, negative 4, 0, negative 1, negative 4, 0. And that will reduce to 1, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. Therefore, w is going to be, and once again, let's write it out in terms of its components, w1 and w2. We have from the first row here that w1 plus 4w2 is equal to 0, and therefore w1 is equal to negative 4w2, and w2 is free, therefore it's just w2. And so this, we can again factor out a w2 and call it any constant, let's call that constant d, and that will be times the vector negative 4, 1, which means that this is the associated eigenspace with the eigen value lambda equals 3. And therefore, any eigenvector, any vector on the line negative 4, 1 is going to be an eigenvector with associated eigenvalue 3. And if we want to pick a, a particular eigenvector, once again, we can just set d equal to 1 and choose negative 4, 1.